Hello Weekend Crafter! I'm Ange and welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. So, for today, we will be doing another color mixing video. On my last color mixing video, I did my Valentine colors. For this week, I want to start making some spring-inspired colors. Let's learn how to mix golden yellow, a very pastel, shy blush pink, lime green, and pear green. Let's begin! As always, and especially when you're mixing colors, you need to start with a clean work surface. I spritz my glass mat with some alcohol and I'm wiping it down. The first color that we are mixing for today is golden yellow. For this, you will need equal parts Fimo Lemon Yellow or a similar hue and Primo Gold. And when these two are fully blended, I will add a little bit of white. I wanted to show you how hard and crumbly my Fimo is, which is ironic because the label actually says Fimo Soft. I will use a small hammer to soften this up because if I pass it through the roller in this condition, it will be very time-consuming and it actually hurts my hand to crank up the machine so much. After a bit of hammering, this is how it looks like. I pass this through the pasta machine and for the first few passes, it is still going to look quite crumbly. But on about my fourth pass, you can tell that the clay is starting to stick to each other. I actually counted how many passes it took to soften the clay, and it was about 11 turns, which is frankly not that bad and not that long. Before, when I still didn't know that I could use a hammer, I thought that the best way to condition was just to pass the clay through the roller again and again. But now I know better and I'm sharing another link on easier ways of conditioning hardened from the clay. Once the gold and yellow are combined, I add a fourth of the white clay. I actually wanted to start with yellow because all the other colors will have a bit of yellow in them. For the next color, let's make shy blush. You will need half part of Primo Beige, which on cam looks quite pink. As you can see, this is again very hard and crumbly clay. I think I have a collection of these very dry clay. This just goes to show that even across brands, you will encounter this kind of clay. I just add a very tiny part of candy pink or a similar hue because we want to have a very light pastel color. And then, I add half part of white. After a bit of hammering, it's time to pass this through my roller.
And then, after a few passes, the clay is finally conditioned. I adjusted the color by adding another sliver of candy pink. This is the reason why I like to add the darker color slowly when you're mixing your pastel. Because in my experience, it is easier to make something a little bit darker than it is to lighten it. And for the final touch, I add just a very tiny amount of yellow. I think that when there's a single color that runs through your entire palette, it looks more cohesive. For the third color, I will make lime green. You will need about 2 fourths primo olive green clay. And surprise, surprise, it is again very hard and crumbly. I also got 1 fourth of the golden yellow that we mixed. And a fourth of white. I pounded these three with my hammer and it helped that both my white and yellow were already preconditioned so that even though my green was again very dry, the clay stuck to each other faster. And for the fourth and final color, let's make pear green. For this, I mix two-fifths of the lime green, one-fifth of the golden yellow, and one-fifth primo in bright green. And then, for the final color, we will add a fifth of white. This was by far the easiest to mix because by this time, all my colors were already conditioned, so there was no need to hammer this up. And there we have it, golden yellow, shy blush, lime green, and pear green. Last week, I made my first spring slab using this color palette. I'm placing a link above in case you missed watching this. And then next week, I will show you another spring slab using the exact same colors. So that you can see that there are so many different ways that you can use this color palette. I hope that you enjoy my color recipes. I share a new one every fourth week of the month. So if you haven't yet, do consider liking and subscribing to the Craft Time Studio. Have a crafty weekend! Bye!